So was it his sickness, y'all? How many say it's his sickness? Was it that he couldn't sleep? That wasn't it. Was it the drugs? Was it the doctors who gave him what he wanted? Was it all the money and the fame? Was it the words he spoke? Was it his childhood? Was it his father's upbringing? Was it any of them? No, wasn't none of them. Michael died early for one reason. He didn't know God. I don't mean he wasn't saved because I don't know that and I can't question that because you can be saved and still don't know God. Have I got a witness in here? You can ignore the Lord in your pardon of your sins but still ain't got a relationship with him. Ain't got no fellowship with him because when you got fellowship with him, there's a peace that comes in your spirit. In Proverbs 18, 14, in the Amplified, this is my last scripture. Watch this. It is key that you keep your inner man strong. The strong spirit of a man, watch, sustains him in bodily pain or in trouble. If your inner man is built up and you're taking time every day to confess the word of God and get that seed down in your heart, your strong spirit will sustain your bodily pain. And when you're in trouble, but a weak and broken spirit, who can raise up a bad? When you wounded and ain't got God, you can't make it. But when you know God, you can put your childhood behind. When you know God, you can tell your daddy, Father, I forgive you because you didn't know what you were doing. When you know God, you can feel good about yourself when other folk are talking about you. When you know God, you can care more about how God feels than your fans feel. When you know God, you'll take correction. When you know God, you'll speak words of life. When you know God, he'll heal a broken heart. When you know God, he'll take sickness away from the midst of you. When you know God, he'll give you sweet sleep at night. When you know God, he'll trade your drugs in for peace of mind. Talk to me, somebody. When you know God, you know Jehovah Rapha is the better doctor than all them other jokers giving you drugs. Michael's problem was inside, not outside. He had everything on the outside, but money can't buy you peace. And pills can't medicate a wounded soul. Only Jesus can lift up a bow. That's why you got to trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, you got to acknowledge him and he will direct your path, not the doctor's. So I'm getting ready to get out of here on this. Michael had the answer and didn't even know it. He wrote it in his songs, but he missed his own message. If I could talk to him today, I would say, Mike, life with God is a thriller. You don't hear what I'm saying. You're talking about being bad. When you got God's favor, you are a bad man. It's dangerous to live in this life without the Lord. You don't hear what I'm saying. And what's so good about my God, he's no respect of person. It don't matter if you're black or help me son. You don't hear what I'm saying. Mike, you had the answer right in front of you because I still remember the time. When I first fell in love with the Lord and I heard him say, hey, are you are not alone. I am here with you. You don't hear what 
Mike Billie Jean didn't mean you no good. She was just a pretty young thing. She, it's human nature to love a woman and have a lady in your life. But when you've been with the Lord, you rock my world, Lord. You rock my world. And anybody that don't like it, just tell them, be that. Come on, give him some praise. Come on, give God glory that you know him today. It's good to know the Lord today. Ain't it good to have a relationship with Jesus? May you learn principles from let his life teach you. Not getting excited just about the moves and the dances. But what can I learn from Mike's life so I won't make the same mistake? May God have mercy upon his soul. As I was doing this message today, the Lord told me, he said, there are people in your congregation just like Michael, carrying wounds and burdens on the inside. And some of y'all got stuff you can't tell nobody. And you're agonizing at night, ain't got no peace, probably can't sleep. And until you confess and acknowledged some things, you can't be healed. And God wants you to be healed in your emotions, in your inner man, so he can protect you from all kinds of sicknesses and disease and give you peace. <laughs>